Hello, Michelle Coriel, art historian here. Today, I'd like to talk about the artist Paul Harris and his work as we visit his art in the Montana Gallery. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to Paul Harris's wax and pigment drawing, Shells in Gray Bowl II. This drawing, finished in 1999, shows Harris's continued interest in color, composition, and the act of creating a work of art. During the abstract expressionist era of the 1950s, this idea of the finished image being a documentation of the act of painting got legs, so to speak. Painters like Jackson Pollock and William de Kooning embody the action painting genre. Harris, who was around during that time with shows in New York City's Poindexter Gallery, knew both Elaine and Willem de Kooning. He knew Elaine the best, but he visited Willem in his studio on 4th Avenue. Combined with the teachings of Hans Hoffman, most famous for the, his color theory of push and pull, Harris combines the energy of action painting and the color theory of Hoffman. Hoffman felt the clean white surface of the canvas or paper was perfection at rest and in balance. Every stroke placed on it after that created the illusion of something being forward and something being back. With each stroke, complexity is increased. He felt the painting was not finished until the piece was in balance once again. What I love about shells in a gray bowl too is that balance and calm in the middle of this complexity. The action of the lines keep the viewer engaged. The colors, dark metal gray and light evening blue create depth. The empty muscle shells become more than their representation. They are the tension that holds the piece together. They are discarded, yes, but they are heaped together in this ramshackle way, edges slipping over the side, but it's never unbalanced. Here, the similarity of colors could meld into the background, but they don't. Invigorated by the movement, the light blues and near whites jump forward as the black gray shells teeter back. In the end, shells in gray bowl too leave the viewer fe feeling satiated. Shoes kicked off, feet up, and a vague notion of letting the dishes go until morning. Until next time, thanks for listening.